Hi, I'm Adam Drake from You Can Seeky Racing. Today I'm going to talk about engine bearings. And this is something that I think is often overlooked. And I think a lot of it is just because people aren't really aware of what to look for to know if there's a problem with their engine bearings. So I'm going to kind of break it down, try to make it simple uh, to have a better understanding so you know when to replace your engine bearings if needed. Because the thing with engine bearings is the engine is running at a very high RPM. There's a lot of heat. And if the bearings are starting to have problems, you'll have problems with tune, you'll have problems with power, and those problems can turn into a lot bigger problem. So let's get started and we'll kind of go over uh, what to look for. So with the front bearing, typically you'll never notice any noise from the front engine bearing. But what you will start to notice is you'll see that the engine is maybe seeping or leaking fuel out of the front bearing. Now a little bit of fuel residue is fine. And if your engine's running good, just keep on going. But again, these are things just to kind of pay attention to. But typically, again, the front bearing, if you notice any leaking, if the engine's having trouble idling, a lot of times it's because there's an air leak. And if there's an air leak, there'll also be fuel leaking out of the front bearing. As far as the rear bearing goes, in most cases, you'll start to notice kind of more of a howling or bearing noise. And sometimes that can be like if you have an engine head that you got landed on and a fin is cracked. So what I like to do is I'll take my tuning screwdriver, the rubber end on it, and I'll kind of push it and hold it on the cooling head on, on the fins just to check and make sure that it's not a cracked fin that's causing that kind of raspy or howling noise. Um, but it's something that you just got to pay close attention to, like pay attention to when your engine's new and you know for sure that the bearings are good. Everything sounds super smooth and clean. And then the main reason for this is because basically when, when the bearing race gets worn or starts, the noise is coming from the balls rolling over the bearing race. Basically it's like, as if the bearing race gets a pothole in it and the bearings are just constantly rolling through this pothole and eventually that pothole is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and the particles from that pothole are then running through the engine. So it can cause the piston and sleeve to get scratched or scored. If the bearing gets bad enough it actually can kind of seize the piston and just overall it can damage and ruin your engine altogether. So it's just something to be mindful of and to make sure you pay attention to any leaking from the front bearing, any noise comes from the rear bearing. And if, if you notice either of those things, you'll want to get the engine to someone that you trust, have them change the bearings, and it'll just keep your engine running and operating much better. Another thing with bearings that are going bad is, like I was saying, with the potholes, it basically creates more friction or drag as the crankshaft's trying to spin. So you may notice engine temp starting to go up, you may lose power, but the most obvious things to look for is any leaking fuel from the front and any noise it would be coming from the rear bearing.